In this problem, it says to assume that random guesses are made for seven multiple choice questions on the NSAT test so that there are n equals seven trials, each with a probability of success of getting the answer correct, given by p equals 0.65. Find the indicated probability for the number of correct answers. Okay, so we know that there are seven trials. So I'm going to draw a number line. There could be zero correct answers, or one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, because there's only seven questions. So you could have as few as zero correct answers or as many as seven. And in this problem, we want to find the probability that x is less than 4. So that includes 0, 1, 2, and 3. So since we're finding the probability that x is less than 4, which means the probability of having 0 to 3 successes, we're going to use the binome CDF function. The C is for cumulative. So that means that we're starting at zero and we're going to add together all the probabilities starting at zero going up to whatever our max number is, which in this case is three because it said strictly less than 4, so 4 is no good. So we're doing binome CDF, and you can find this in your calculator by pressing 2nd and the VARS key, variables key, and you can scroll either up or down until you get to that binome CDF. And then if you have the wizard, it will say trials, and you'll say that's equal to 7. Um, then it will say what is P, and that's 0.65. And then um, X is your maximum number of successes, and you'll say that that's 3. So in your calculator, it will come out as 7 when you press Calculate. It'll be 7, comma, 0.65, comma, 3. If you don't have the wizard, then you're going to type it in just like this. And when we press Enter, if we round to four places, we've got 0 0.1999. And that would be our final answer for that problem.